What's up, everybody? So, I've done a couple stuff to the F 150 that I bought um, that I haven't, I guess, documented on video. I've been pretty busy um, working on other people's cars or just having the time to pick up the phone and take videos of everything that I'm doing. But I'll make a quick video of everything that I've done so far to it and a quick video of the things that I'm going to do to it today, which is two um, kind of problems that these OBS Fords have. I'm gonna show you guys how to fix those issues and how to make the drive a little more comfortable. Um, so yeah, let me show you guys what I've done to it. All right, so the obvious, I got the rear drop already. Um, I dropped it five inches. Haven't done the front. Uh, my front uh, I-beams haven't came in. Uh, the front's getting dropped three inches and that'll level out the truck. Right now it's a little bit squatted in the rear. Um, I got a bed cover. I got it for free. It was already white. I had to drive maybe an hour or so to go pick it up. Totally worth it. Um, I just had to make a couple little brackets. The hardware wasn't complete, but we got it on there. It's working. Um, oh, yes. Also, <laughs> I got a new rear tank. I put a new front fuel pump. Um, Oh, this was my exhaust. I had to cut it for my flip kit. It was kind of in the way of the leaf springs, so I'm gonna I'm put it off the side anyway, so. Um, but yeah, I got a new rear gas tank, new rear pump, new front pump, new front filler neck, rear filler neck. I coated the frame black. I put black coating on it. It was, it was just, it just had a little bit of surface rust um, and you know, I just, I had the bed off when I was doing my fuel pumps. So I decided to, to coat it nice and black. So another thing that I've done is I got my bed liner blue and the top of the bed cover matches the interior of the truck pretty sweet looks real good um what else have i done i think that's about it really i haven't got my windows tinted i'm supposed to be going to get them tinted sometime this week um and uh i think that's all i've done to it that you guys didn't get to see if you follow me on instagram you probably saw my story post you know when i had the bed off and when i was coding it but none of that was documented for youtube so i just want to make a quick video showing you guys what i've done to it um my wheels haven't shipped out yet i'm thinking they're gonna ship out maybe late august so we're still waiting on those but today what we're gonna talk about is door jams and a rattly dash this dash does not rattle um but i'm gonna put something on here to prevent it from breaking in the spot that they break very very commonly on these obs fords i got this bracket um put the link in the description of where you can buy this bracket it's a little brace um and it goes right here in the corner of the dash and it holds this dash up. Um, I'm gonna put that on so it doesn't crack and so I don't get any 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 rattling like I did. I did this mod on my Bronco um, and I loved it because my Bronco's dash was pretty rattly um, before I put that on. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how to install that and a quick and easy fix on these door jams. Um, this is the issue that the door is closed. The door is closed, but while you're driving it will make that noise that rattling noise now the proper fix would to be is would be to buy new door jams um but i'm going to show you guys a quick easy little hack that you can do for free you get some electrical tape and you're going to put some around here you're just going to wrap it and wrap it around wrap it around wrap it around and that will actually help the door um, close a lot tighter 
and not rattle while you're driving. The tape will eventually start ripping. Um, and like I said, the proper way of fixing it is just to buy a new door jam. Um, I'll probably do that, you know, next week or something. But for right now, I just kind of just wanted to stop rattling. Um, so I'm just going to put this tape on there. I'm going to show you how. Bolt is a T47. T47. If you don't have a T47, a T45 will work. Just don't do it on an electric impact because you can strip it. But T47 fits perfect. Comes off. Round it, uh, I'd say maybe like 10, 10 times. You don't have to take this off, but it does make it a lot easier to to roll the tape on there. So now I'm gonna show you putting it back on there. Here it is, back installed on the little bracket that it comes with. And you can kind of see the mark. Uh, you kind of want to put it back to where it was. So here it is installed. You know, I just kind of lined it up where the mark was. Now, when we close the door, door is not rattling anymore. So it closes all the way. Nope, no more. No more noise, so when you're driving down the road, you're not gonna get that ugly rattle. Oh look, kind of for comparison, since I haven't done that driver's side, we'll go over there and I can show you. That's me tugging on the door. And we'll go on this side. I can barely fit over here. But, okay, the door is not closed all the way. Let me close it. All right, there it's closed. There is movement on this one. And that one's, you know, doesn't have any tape on there. So I'll do that on this side later on. Here's a closer look on the bed liner. Super clean. Oh, I found new, new bed bolts. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to install this dash brace bracket thing. It goes right on the bottom of this. So we're gonna go ahead and take off this plastic here. There's a Phillips screw here. Um, there's a Phillips screw down here. Probably have to take this off just to, that goes underneath that. So I'm gonna take off all the Phillips head screws and I'll show you guys how it looks Pieces. like those right there but to my surprise my dash is already starting to crack it's not rattling yet but this just goes to show you no matter how mint you find these trucks they're just old so i mean these plastics in the heat you know the previous owner could have could have taken it off-roading you know and just with the bumps and you know it, this just breaks I mean, it's very common on these trucks. Like now that I'm moving it down here, you can actually see it flex. So when you're driving, this can be rattling really loud. On my truck, it doesn't rattle loud. And I mean, I, ha I didn't even notice that that was broken until now that I took off those plastics. So what that little brace does is it bolts up right here on the existing hole. You don't have to drill anything. Well, actually, no, you do have to drill on the dash, three holes, but the mounting where the brace goes um goes on an existing hole so i'm gonna take that off and i'm gonna show you guys how you position that and um where to drill the holes if you do have a friend it's a lot easier have them hold the dash up while you while you put this bracket in place and then you drill your holes but since i am alone i'm gonna be hopping in here putting my knee on this bracket lifting up on the dash like so that's how it goes basically i'm gonna get a little marker and mark where i need to make the hole all right so my knee up against this dash bracket worked i got the first bolt in you can see where the nut and the washer are um so i'm gonna go ahead and start doing 
these two and we should be good to go not too hard uh, so this is how the bracket looks once it's mounted tow it on by three bolts there's one two three and then there's two back there one two that are on the actual body of the truck um looks really good you know not big and bulky it doesn't stick out or anything if you're sitting inside the truck you don't even see it really oh i just took off this trim right now because uh i think that one was broken so i'm gonna see what i can do maybe put some double-sided tape to to mount it if not i'm gonna have to see if anybody sells them but um yeah i just took that off but yeah sitting inside the truck you don't really even notice the bracket i mean it sits so low and you know it helps out with your rattly dash problem so if you have an obs 750 i definitely recommend this the bracket is only like 45 bucks uh free shipping installing it doesn't take more than an hour um, and if you have someone helping you even faster so that concludes today's video on two easy quick and cheap mods you can do to your obs f-150 or f-250 f-350 bronco obs ford truck in general probably has a broken dash and the doors probably rattle when you're driving so do these two mods you're gonna enjoy driving your truck so much more down the road without hearing stuff rattling and breaking and falling apart um you know it's just more enjoyable to drive and um and cheap so do them and you're gonna thank me um i'll do another video of when my billets come in i'm hoping four weeks they told me eight weeks it's been about four so maybe four more and they'll be here um, I'll do a video of when I get the truck tinted and I'll do another video of when I get my front drop um, Maybe a install video on it. Um, it's not hard. I mean, it's a couple bolts um, and Yeah, we'll keep this build going um, I'm about to work on this Mustang that they're about to drop off. So I'm gonna cut this video off um, but again, thanks guys for watching and for subscribing and commenting and keeping up with this grandpa truck build so thanks guys